Hey everybody, Dr. Wessel Couch here with another Math and Minecraft episode. Today, we're going to solve a combinatorics problem using Minecraft. And by the end of the video, you'll understand why I think the chest is the most mathematical block in the game. All right, let's get started. In Minecraft, you could place a chest as a single block or a double block. But no matter how hard you try, you can't place a triple block. So the question is, how many ways can you place single and double chests to fill up a row of n blocks? Usually a good way to start these problems is to start with small values of n. So if you want to just fill one block, there's one way to do it. For n equals 2, there's two ways single, single, or just a double chest. n equals 3, there's three ways. So you might be thinking, maybe the number of ways to fill n blocks with single and double chests is n. Let's see if that works. You'll quickly see that that idea is wrong. With n equals 4, there's five ways. For n equals 5, there's eight ways, and you can see these are getting bigger and bigger. n equals six, there's 13 ways. And for n equals seven, you can count them all, there's 21 ways. So how do we count this in general? I want you to pause the video and think about how to solve this problem on your own. Let me know in the comments if you have a solution. Now let's take a brief detour and talk about the Fibonacci sequence. The Fibonacci sequence is a sequence of numbers defined recursively by F1 equals 1, F2 equals 1, and for n greater than or equal to 3, Fn is equal to Fn minus 1 plus Fn minus 2. The first few terms of the sequence are 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, and it goes on forever. Does this look familiar? It should. Let's now show that the number of ways to fill a row of n blocks with single and double chests is a Fibonacci number. Note that the rows of chests can be partitioned into two groups. Group one contains rows ending in a single chest. There are chest sub n minus one of these. And group two contains rows ending in a double chest. There are chest sub n minus 2 of these. Since these groups are disjoint, we could conclude that chest sub n is equal to chest sub n minus 1 plus chest sub n minus 2. This recursion is just like the Fibonacci recursion. And it's easy to check that chest sub 1 is equal to Fibonacci sub 2, and chest sub 2 is equal to Fibonacci sub 3, and since they satisfy the same recursion, we can conclude that chest sub n is equal to the n plus first Fibonacci number. This is likely the first ever proof done entirely in Minecraft. You witnessed history today here, folks. Anyway, do me a favor and share this video with one of your friends who likes math and Minecraft. It will really help me grow my channel, and I would really appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss future Math and Minecraft episodes. And let me know in the comments if you have any ideas that you'd like to see. I always love hearing from you. Don't forget to smash the like button before you get out of here. All right, bye-bye. <laughs>